Okay, so what we're working on is getting the back shoulder to contact. We have a, a problem with hitters that want to release too soon. They want to get here and then they want to release their hands. And what we want is this back shoulder to get to contact before we release. Where we're finding the big benefit is on the outside part of the plate. That they want to do this, everything's disconnected and we have no power. They're just kicking their hands to the outside. And the hitters that we're having are driving that shoulder through the ball and then the barrel head releases. So the goal of this drill is to have the barrel release on its own, let the hitter understand that the hands do not release. The barrel kind of just releases on its own, okay? So the way you set the drill up, you're gonna take the top hand, okay? She's gonna go ahead and hold it here, okay, so that you see. And then what she's gonna do is take this to the opposite shoulder right there. It's like a PVC pipe drill that you've done a million times. The biggest thing is we want this bat to be level with the clavicle or the shoulders so that we're 90 degrees with the spine and we are turning through the ball. She's going to hold the other the bat in place here so the bat head's not going to release at all. If a pitter's not making contact on the ball we don't really care as much is that they just learned to get the shoulder through. Okay. As she does that and as she gets used to it, this the bat, when we go to our normal stance, is behind the shoulder. She's learning to take this, the bat's head's just gonna be there. It's a result, okay? Now, all she's going to do on this is take the top, this hand, she's going to bring it underneath. Now, what she's going to do is hold that nice and tight right there, but, this, but nothing's going to do anything. And you're going to watch the barrel head release after contact. Once the shoulder gets here, everything is stopped. That's when the barrel head release, and that's when you, if you can get that and get the hitter to do that, you're going to see a lot more power. She's not doing anything but letting the barrel head release once the rest of the body stops. And so now she'll do a normal one hand drill. Most of your hitters, the first time that they get here, they're gonna wanna release down, they're gonna wanna release up. This is where a field drill, again, just trying to turn the shoulder through contact. The back heart is going to be behind the shoulder. So we're going to set the, we're going to set it up on the outside of the shoulder. Now, one thing I don't know if you can tell when she's doing it, go ahead and get in that position. She's leaving everything here, but as she comes through, this is in it just coming through and slotting everything on its own. And now as the shoulder continues to come through, she doesn't have to release it, okay? And then you'll just have them take a normal swing, two hands. And you're gonna see really tight turns. That's just a fantastic drill to go five balls, five balls, five, and then five. Uh, we've not done it from soft toss, but maybe we will eventually, uh, but it's a fantastic T drill.